Hey racers, John Racer3 here today back for the Hot Wheels case unboxings. Today we have the beautiful 2019 Hot Wheels K case. We got some beautiful cars here. The super treasure hunt is the Dodge Demon. I do not remember what the regular treasure hunt is, but hey, hopefully we can get lucky and pull it from this case. Now, if you guys remember how I do my cases, I will breeze over uh, duplicates that I have gotten from previous cases. For instance, this orange octane here, I have already gotten in a case, so I'm just gonna breeze right through it. And new models, we'll take a closer look at. We got a custom Ford Bronco, and that was pretty easy. We got the little Treasure Hunt logo there, if you guys can see it. Matte black Ford Bronco, looking nice. We got Diaper Dragger, I believe that is a recolor. It was in, an, in a red, I think, earlier this year, so there's that, pretty cool. We've got the not so good looking Dior 2, and then the Dragon Tail, which looks pretty cool. It's like a dragonfly car, I believe. So that is some pretty neat stuff. Next up, we got the 10 Ford Shelby GT500 Super Snake in dark blue. This thing looks absolutely amazing. I love the color of this thing. Just take, take a look at that. I believe this car came out in a similar paint job a while back, but I could be wrong there. And then we've got a Camaro, of course. Next up, we've got more of the Tesla Model 3. It looks like we got a little bit of a smudge in the packaging there on that one. I don't know why. But then we have the 64 Nova Wagon Gasser. This is new for this year. It looks pretty nice. Nice raised front bumper. Could be fast on the track. You never know. Next up, we got Fast Gas. That is new for this year. Looking good. And then we got some duplicates. We got the AMG GT3 and the Volkswagen Caddy in green from the last case. Next up, we have Doom Daddy in white and then the Camaro SS Hot Wheels Police Department paint scheme. We've already seen that. Next up, we've got Bone Shaker again, looking very nice in that dark paint job, a recolor from the red, I believe, so that's nice. And then we have Track Manga from the last case, looking very good. Next up, we've got Zoom In, works with the GoPro Hero 5, as you guys can see there in red. Personally, I don't like how they recolor a GoPro car that you only need one of in your life, but that is just Hot Wheels marketing, I guess. And then we got two Hot Wheels Honda City Turbo 2s, right there as well, looking good. Next up, we got a Chevy Nova Wagon with some awesome paint, like trippy paint scheme on it, looking good, I like it. The Corvette Racer, the main line from the last case, and then we got the classic 55 Nomad, looking weird and rusty, that's cool. Next up, we've got the Hot Wheels Pursuit. I believe that is new for this case. We got the main line. We got the Dodge Challenger SRT Demon in red. This is the main line for the Super Treasure Hunt, and it looks absolutely amazing in person. Cannot wait to unbox it. And then we got another Volkswagen Cafe Racer, which you guys have seen before. Now we've got some more duplicates. We got the 69 Dodge Charger 500 and the Corvette C7R. That is new for this case. The Corvette C7R comes out a lot in blue. I don't know how I feel about it, especially this shade of blue. So there's a lot that look the same. And for someone who races GT cars a lot, that can get very, very confusing. Now let's move on to the next layer. I'm just gonna adjust my camera here really quick. And uh, yeah, let's continue. Grab these cars. Ugh. We got the 67 Chevy C10, which I believe was from the last case, if I remember correctly. And then we've got Street Wiener, which is a recolor from earlier this year. I don't know how you can recolor a hot dog, but it's got green wheels, and I know that's not the same. So it must be an attempt at a recolor for a hot dog. Interesting stuff. Next up, we have Fast Master. This might be a recolor as well. I might be forgetting uh, if these are recolors or not, because there have been a lot of cars this year, trust me. And then we have the Dodge. Charger stock car. This I know is a recolor from the blue version earlier this year. Looking nice, looking very low to the ground. Hopefully it's quick. 
I interrupt this video to let you guys know about my second channel slash gaming channel if you want to call it that. On this channel I upload a whole bunch of stuff. I upload Forza videos which I know a lot of you guys like. I've even dipped my feet into some VR gaming and then I've even done a movie review. So if you guys want to help me and support this channel all you got to do is click that subscribe button and make sure you have the notifications on. It I would really appreciate it and I'll be doing some fun stuff with this channel in the future so go ahead. Click the link down below, subscribe to this channel, and I'll keep you guys updated on maybe some giveaways and fun stuff that we have in the future. So, thank you guys for subscribing. Now, back to your scheduled video. Next up, we got the 2019 Ford Ranger Raptor. I love the paint scheme on this thing with the Hot Wheels, the checkered. It describes Hot Wheels very well, just through this one truck. And then we got a custom 18 Mustang GT from the last case. It will just breeze over that one there. Next up, we've got Bubblematic and the Jeepster Commando, all cars that we have seen before. Put that there. Next up, we've got two Batmobiles. I believe this is a recolor. I think the Batmobile came out earlier this year as a uh, blue version. So now we got a gray version. I personally like the gray version better, and it's looking very good. Next up, we've got the 56 Ford F100 with the Queen of Hearts paint job on it. This thing looks awesome. I love the detail that they put on there, especially on the roof. That looks super good. Like it a lot. Next up, we've got two Copo Camaros and a Jeepster Commando cars that you have seen before. With those, we've got the Moto Wing. You guys have seen it before very nice and then we got drifts a lot of this hot wheels racing scheme a drift is three so hey it's a john racer three car looking good i really love the paint scheme on these cars as you can see we got the drifts uh we got the corvette c7r and then i believe we have a mustang if i can find it here laying beside me and it looks like they all got like matching paint schemes which is awesome Something I've always wanted to do with Hot Wheels is collect all the cards with the same paint schemes, and now that I'm getting all the cases, it works out. So that's pretty neat. Next up, we've got Roger Dodger 2.0. If you guys remember the classic Roger Dodger model, this thing looks very strange. I mean, I don't know how I feel about it. I was never really a Roger Dodger fan myself, but I know a whole bunch of people are, and that is some interesting cast work there. But I like the color on it, it matches it very well, and it looks pretty cool. Next up, we've got Quick Bite which has a lot of like customization and uh, decals on it, which looks really good. It's a shave ice fan, that's pretty cool. And then we've got a 32 Ford in gold. This thing looks amazing. Cannot understand that. S Steve, Steve Cal, Steve Calza, I don't know. If you guys didn't know whose Ford, 32 Ford this is, please let me know, because it looks absolutely beautiful in gold. That Spectrofame paint looks absolutely amazing. We're getting down to the lower end of the case here. We got a 91 Mazda MX-5 Miata in blue. This car was just announced, and it came out in a case super quick, so it's looking very good. We got some little bit of a damaged tampo there on the top one, but the bottom one still looks very clean. And then we got a recolor for Eruption in gold. I always like it when Hot Wheels recolor their cars in gold because gold just gold just looks cool, you know. We got another street wheel from earlier in the case, and then we got some muscle bound from the previous case. And then finally, the last cars in the case. We got two Piranitas from the last case and a recolor of the Nissan 300 ZX Twin Turbo in red. This thing looks mean. I cannot wait to open it. It looks fan. Fantastic. So, there you guys have it. That is the end of the case. Now, if you guys have been watching the case reviews, you know that the only Super Treasure Hunt that we've pulled from the case had like some pencil markings up here. And this case, confirmed, does not have any pencil markings on the flaps whatsoever. So, hey, maybe we can get lucky next time. I don't know, chat. Guys, I'm feeling really lucky about this Aventador Super that's going to be coming up here in the future. So, hopefully, I can pull that and that would be absolutely amazing but thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed if you want to see these cars race don't worry and next wednesday you will see them race you will choose which one you want to win and if your car wins you will get a shout out at the end of the video so thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one take it easy peace